Item number SCP-1915 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1915 is to be kept in self-modified humanoid containment unit. Furniture and sustenance are unnecessary, as SCP-1915 provides them itself. When God is to escort SCP-1915 during its daily walk around the designated yard, no expensive or sensitive equipment is to be brought into SCP-1915's facility. Description SCP-1915 is a 33-year-old Caucasian man, often an exceptional build and height, identified as Beep by the documents it was carrying on his person. At the time of its retrieval, a background check revealed no relatives or close friends. SCP-1915's anonymous nature stems from localized causality abnormality, which neglect any significant long-term changes to its body, personality, memory, or lifestyle. SCP-1915 alters reality and its close vicinity as is necessary to maintain its personal status quo. SCP-1915's effects are largely limited to non-living matter manipulation and internal mental manipulation and are incapable of permanently affecting living creatures other than SCP-1915 itself. SCP-1915 does not appear to be aware of its anomalous properties, and the mild to moderate discontent it expresses concerning its life during several interviews suggest it possesses limited, if any, control over them. SCP-1915 is unaware of its containment, believing it is still employed at the offices of the now-defunct Beep Corporation, where it was recovered. Addendum 1915A Incident Log 1915 Incident A Date 2000 Beep Location Offices of the Beep Corporation Beep During its initial recovery, SCP-1915 was escorted to Site-17 by Mobile Task Force Delta-17 Green Caps. As it was being transported, SCP-1915 altered empty of Delta-17's armored vehicle to a form of a number beep city bus, which SCP-1915 used in its commute to work while it was still employed. SCP-1915 was seemingly convinced that members of the task force were other passengers. Agent Beep, who was driving the vehicle at the time, was briefly convinced that he was the bus driver and assumed the bus's usual route. Verbal persuasion from other task force members proved sufficient in negating this effect, and SCP-1915 was safely transported in the altered vehicle to Site-17. Incident B Date, 20 beep. Location, Site-17 Humanoid Containment Wing, Cell 257. Description, upon arriving at its designated cell, SCP-1915 converted it to an exact replica of its apartment, located at Redacted. Electronic devices continued functioning without an external power source, and a bathroom maintained both a running water supply and sewage access. When we moved from the converted cell, objects did not retain this anomalous property. SCP-1915 assumed that escorting site security members and researchers are neighbors and local service givers. Incident C. Beep. 20 Beep. Location, Site-17, Humanoid Containment Wing. Cell 257, Maintenance Closet 17. Description, the morning following its initial containment, SCP-1915 exited itself, despite it being locked, and entered a nearby maintenance closet. Site security dispatched to the scene discovered the closet was converted to mimic SCP-1915's cubicle at beep, including working telephone and internet connections. When confronted by site security, SCP-1915 apologized for coming after hours to finish the budget report, thinking that it needed the extra income. Addendum 1915b 
Interview Log SCP-1915-3 Interviewer Dr. Beep Interviewed SCP-1915 For this interview was held a week after SCP-1915's recovery. During that time, SCP-1915 has maintained the same set daily routine. Begin Log Good morning, SCP-1915. Oh, hello. The cage is silent, by the way. Are you new around here? SCP-1915, are you aware of where you are? Hmm, oh, in the office, of course. This isn't your office. Well, of course it's not mine. I was passed for promotion again. That's not what I meant. I don't think so, at least. Uh, don't worry about it. Happens all the time. People look at me and say, Look at this guy. He must have an office by now. Worked for a company for so long. After all, that get a man like him. But no, it's the kill goal life for me. So, what's your position? Uh, junior accountant? Bernstein's team? You guys are on the third floor, right? Yeah, next to the coffee machine. That's where Lisa works, right? Uh, sure, I guess. Could you tell her to... I don't know... Give me a call sometime. Sure. You know what? Forget it. She's just going to reject me. Don't tell her anything. At least that way I can still dream. That's nice. Listen, I think the boss is waiting for me, so... Uh, sure, and sure. You have a good day, you hear? Don't be a stranger. End log.